get it going. I want to be the greatest energy is overflowing. I know I'm stoking the fire. My desire's taking over. Uh, not tired. I'm inspired. Rewired. I know just what is required. My brain knows how to decipher. The message is looking brighter. Already paid up the pipe, but my game is getting much tighter. I feel my body on fire. Uh, now it's game time. All the practice to prepare for this main time. I could do anything. That's my baseline. Go ahead and do you. I'ma make mine. Decline on the glow up, getting better with time. Yeah, I'm about to hit my prime. The air is filled up with suspense. We've got our dreams, we must defend. That came out a lot better than I thought. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fucking show because this last week's bond was goddamn, possibly, and not even gonna fucking lie to y'all. The most fucking craziest fucking big show we've ever had. Hell, we did our first ever uh, MP picks to where we crowned a new MP champion, which was Shane Henry. You guessed the most uh, correct victors of that show uh we had carlos hernandez fucking just making everybody ev all the doubters fucking shut their mouths uh by defeating devil and then the, a very fucking like what the fuck one which is mason joining the syndicate now uh we do have some we do have an announcement uh because mason recently has came out uh pretty much full on saying he gets to take a month off and all that and yes that is true the pxc world heavyweight championship is not going to be defended at our next big show because that is what we promised for both the youtube championship and the pxc world heavyweight championship now that rule does not apply to all the other titles so the tag team championships will be defending our next big show the hardcore and tiktok are also going to be defended in a certain match i'll get into that later but here's the thing um Dixon is not just the PXC World Heavyweight Champion. He is also the United States Champion. So, though yes, he will not be defending the World Heavyweight title at our next big show. He is going to be defending the United States Championship at our next big show. And him and the Syndicate have uh, certainly been uh, trying their best to get their little hands out of that scenario but until then we are going to be crowning our number one contender for the pxc united states championship now uh oh shit okay that was randomized and apparently those guys are the ones starting how are we going to do this we're going to be doing it with an eight man gauntlet eliminator match pretty much it's going to be like royal rumble but they have to be pinned to be eliminated so we're going to see how this goes and uh fuck Ah uh, yes, we're just we're just we're in it for the long run. But here we go, starting off the show with our eight-man Gauntlet Eliminator. At the wrong buttons. Gotta get his uh. So two superstars will start in the ring every 30 seconds another superstar will enter elimination oh can only occur by pinfall or submission the match continues until one superstar remains and that superstar will be declared the winner also want to point out uh next year's rush is gonna be under this rule <laughs> in other words no over the top rope whoever's the last one standing baby <laughs> So in other words, Rush is gonna be fucking insane. <laughs> well, it looks like we're starting out the night with Zero coming down. Did you pull a muscle during the intro? No, I was my my fucking legs are fucked right now. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Pretty much standing on concrete all day. 
does a number on them. <laughs> yeah, no, Zero was in our bond match last night. Honestly, um, the man did not want to give up. I gotta point that out. The man refused to give up to the winning team, which was Adrian Cave and C. Jill. Which, no, that means them two will be main eventing our next big show. Again, we'll not get into that <laughs> until the next match. But um, our next big show, them two will be facing off whoever wins and gets their first pick at whichever title they choose. And then the other, or the losing opponent, gets the other title that was not chosen. So in this case, if C. Jill wins and decides to be a three-time YouTube champion, that means Adrian Cave is open to go for Mason Dixon. Or same thing, vice versa. Okay, oh, okay, this actually, this actually did get a little interesting. It looks like this gauntlet match is gonna start with Zero and the former BXC TikTok champion, Jin. I do think we gotta fix his entrance though. <laughs> his, his, his entrance, uh, I don't know if it bugs out or what happens, but I think it bugs out a little. Oh no, there it goes. Okay, yeah, it probably bugged out just a little bit there. Cause it bugs out like him on the ramp. In former TikTok champion losing the championship to Satoshi, but then Satoshi losing the championship this past bond as well against new up and comer The Dog. And goddamn, that was actually a really good fucking match, I gotta point out. It was so back and forth. It was such a great match. Right now, Jin probably looking. To get his sights on another BXC championship. Because here's the thing, heck, he started off already claiming the TikTok championship only in a number of matches. Can you imagine if he picks up another championship after that? I will point out, this is the United States championship from this point on will be defended at every show as well. Unless, <laughs> god dang it, that. Unless. Mason refuses. <laughs> if he is still the United States champion, which, God, behind the syndicate, he might be. There it is, Zero, Jin, starting off the Gauntlet Eliminator. Here we go. Zero was trying to go straight up. Jin, though, not allowing it. And now, oh, God. Jin coming in with a bit of fucking double throat chop there. Holy shit. Man, I gotta give, I still gotta give props to Zero. He had fucking, again, the throw chops. Fucking hell. Um, oh, and already coming in with number two of the Gauntlet Eliminator. Who is next? Oh, shit. Big pile driver from Jin and Zero gets out of the ring. Who's... Oh, 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 well, it looks like it's the... <laughs> Mr. Baked on himself, Adonis, and Jin was like, uh, he knows Adonis is a threat, and he knows he needs to be the first man to be taken out. Oh my god, I just realized. I just realized something. If I do this as a rush match, it's gonna be fucking wild with 30 people. <laughs> Oh, I do not know who the next opponent is. Oh! Well, speak of the devil, it looks like Satoshi! Wait, why is Satoshi in this? Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Oh, uh, I see how it is. Okay, I see how it is. So if Satoshi probably picks up a win here, he's gonna forfeit his match against Mason, and Mason keeps the damn gold! A smart move from the Syndicate. But now the question is, can Satoshi pull it off? Ooh. 
Honestly, now thinking about it, it would be better if we did the ramp camera, because holy shit, you can't see who's coming in. Oh, it looks like it's Iron Maiden. He... Oh, evented. I was going to say main evented. Well, technically main evented a little bit at Operation against G7 for the YouTube Championship. Came up short. Oh, and Adonis in the ring. Fucking, dude, Zero. I don't think Zero has recovered from that fucking <laughs> double team that happened last week. Oh, my God. This is going to be crazy, dude. Things are happening everywhere. Yeah, if we do a gauntlet eliminator, dude, th it's going to be nuts. Oh, my God. Is that... Is that fucking Hulk Hogan? Hey, yo, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Arthur? Why does he look like Hulk Hogan? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Arthur's in. It looks like Adonis fucking going straight to town on both Arthur and... <laughs> you making... My god, Adonis is going to town. Looks like Adonis going for the first pin of this. One, looking to eliminate Jin. Jin only kicking out at one. Now, no, usually in these type of matches. Oh, shit. Oh, we got a big boy. We got Draven in this bitch. All right, we got to point out. Uh, we did get... Uh, this is breaking fourth wall. We did get an updated version of Draven. I have yet to do anything because I was running late on this episode of PXT. But right now, it's already starting off a bag with Arthur picking up Draven. Oh my god! Two handed choke slam Draven! Holy shit! Oh, Jen looking to get a bit of payback on Satoshi there. Was trying to get him out of this match. And it looks like Smooth Marino is the next man in this match. And I believe we have all eight men in the ring now. All eight men are in this match. Draven looking to put Jin out of commission. Doesn't get the pin, though. Now it looks like Smooth being in the back. And now Satoshi. Coming in with a still chair, but I got, oh, dude, this would be a fucking good ass match. Satoshi against Smooth. That would actually be pretty sick. Lion Labor, welcome to PXC, everyone. Yes. Welcome, Myth. Right now, we're seeing who will be the number one contender for Mason Dixon's United States Championship. Oh, a big corner cutter from Jin. Two. Zero. One. Two. Only gets a two count. Zero still being defiant as ever. Will not give an easy win to any opponent. Oh, Jen coming in with a... Oh, damn, a deadlift. Fucking suplex. Adonis kicks out, though. Adonis, I want to point out, is Mr. Bankrupt. Technically, he can fight Mason any day of the week, so that's why I'm a little surprised that he's in this match. But hell, he's probably want to just add more. Oh my god, holy shit! One! He kicked out of the one to that. Okay, fucking sledgehammer, metal part, just thrown straight to the fucking skull of Jin. Jin's like, nah, bitch. Ooh, big springboard crossbody from Zero to Jin. One! Two only gets two count off Jin. I fucking mid burp while saying that. Holy shit. Adonis going wild. <laughs> He's talking on the outside. He made it though. Not happy. I don't know what the hell Maiden was doing there. Maiden getting tossed back in the ring. Oh, we got a bear hug. We got a bear hug. <laughs> Arthur. Why? Again, why does he look like Hulk Hogan? Okay, I don't know. Arthur's a big fan. He's so big, too. God damn. God, oh, my God. Why are people just chucking a sledgehammer at each other? And everyone just kicks out at one. What the fuck? We have yet to see our first elimination in this match. I, I, I'm just curious who the fuck will be the last man standing. I think Draven was trying to put Zero on commission. Oh, ooh! Beautiful sequence from Zero to Draven. Looks like Arthur looking to put down Donis. Oh, it looks like we got a guillotine chokehold from Jin to Zero. Are we going to see Zero tap out here? 
Oh, Azito's the first man eliminated in this match. Honestly, I think he's still feeling the effects of last week's bond. So I cannot even give any... You cannot take anything away from Zero. He is still a man <laughs> trying to recover from being brutally assaulted. He wanted to make a name for himself. He made the name for himself, but it probably costed him in this match. Oh, what is that? Arthur with a big power slam. I don't know if he was going for something after that. Oh, shit. Oh, Arthur looking to pin Jin here. Oh, gets kicked out. Arthur right now trying everything he can. Oh, everybody in the fucking ring right now. Arthur trying to fuck up Adonis. Adonis, though, not going to take it. Oh, wait, wait. What's Adonis go? Oh, Adonis! Mach 3 to Arthur! Is that it? We have going for pin one, two. It looks like, it looked like he was smacking his thigh. Oh, God. Oh, big running power slam from Draven to Satoshi. Is that it? One, two. No, Satoshi kicks out. Oh, Arthur looking to put down Adonis. Ooh, big maneuver from Smooth to Jin. Looking to take Jin out of this match. Two. No, Jin kicks out. I think, I think Arthur's trying... I don't know what Arthur's trying to go for here. Arthur was just skipping around the ring. Oh, I may be looking to pin Adonis here. One. No, only gets a one count. Oh, Jin. Oh! Big brain buster. Is that enough to put Arthur out of commission in this match? One. Two. Three. No, Arthur kicks out. Surprisingly. I believe he's using his creative control card, if you will. <laughs> oh, shit! He ends up to the outside from Adonis to Satoshi! And uh, uh, Satoshi's out. <laughs> Satoshi's actually knocked out. <sighs> By now, I believe in this match, we only had one elimination. Smooth looking to put down Jin. One, two. No, Jin's still fighting. This is to see who will be facing off Mason Dixon. Oh, for the United States Championship. Big suplex from Satoshi on the outside to Arthur. And now Draven and Iron Maiden going at it. Oh, shit. God damn. Iron Maiden lifting up Draven. Oh, wait. What's Satoshi going? Oh, Satoshi looking to make Iron Maiden tap out here tonight. Is Iron Maiden tap? Iron Maiden has to tap. He tapped out to the crime block. He had no... God damn, there was no choice. Smooth, look at a ball. Total knockout. Two, Adonis. One, two. No, oh, Adonis kicks out. And Smooth getting insulted now by the crime boss. Oh, shit. Satoshi. Looking to make things easy for Mason. But no, Smooth's not going to have it. Smooth set out to hurt people, and he's seeing his eyes on Mason, and this is the perfect opportunity for it. Right now, Arthur fucking up Jin on the outside. Oh shit, big headbutt. Oh, this is the clip. Oh shit. You weren't plugged in? What the hell? You were supposed to be. Apparently, ladies and gentlemen. My controller was not plugged in. It's okay, though. We're good. All right! <laughs> I lost the audio there for a second, and then the footage was like, hold up, bud, we got you paused. <laughs> Everyone just knew how to freeze time. God damn it. All right now, Smooth and Draven in the ring. All right now, Smooth struggling with Draven. Draven's trying to fucking get a title opportunity here. Oh, shit! Oh my god, dude! If everybody needs to stop chucking the goddamn sledgehammer, everyone's gonna have a fucking concussion after tonight. So we're sending Draven to the ropes, and oh, oh my! Drops him with a big fucking boo! Holy shit! Smooth just took a shot like it was nothing for fucking Draven and now proceeds to just hurt Draven more and more. Oh, 
Draven gets him up for a gun wrench. Oh, shit. I think that's it. That might be enough to put down Smooth Marino here. No, Smooth. Defiant as ever. Oh, God. Gets Draven up and hits him with a total knockout. Oh, my God. Almost immediately. Here it is. One, two, three. And Draven's out of this match. We're down to five contestants, ladies and gents. Oh, shit. Arthur getting lifted up by Smooth. Arthur, though, fighting his ass off, trying to use that creative control, if you will. <laughs> Look, man, it's hard, it's hard not to say he's not Hulk Hogan. But he looks exactly like fucking Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Arthur's got it his whole life. He was the first man to look like this. Hulk Hogan stole his idea. Satoshi looking to put Arthur out of commission, possibly. Oh, wait, what's this? Satoshi looked like he was up to something. I don't know what he was up to. Oh, Satoshi was trying to make Arthur tap out. Arthur, though, not having it with a two handed choke slam. He's about to make everyone feel it, brother. Is his brother, not brother. That's the point. Still though, it's hard. What the fuck trying to fuck up Satoshi? I do believe all the pins do have to happen in the ring for this one. Uh, I did not make a setup one for this because I did not know how it was actually going to work. This is a test run. So next time, oh shit, big boo. Arthur looking to claim his identity back. <laughs> Though, <laughs> I think no matter what he does, everyone will call him Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! I think Adonis trying to hit a Kienza onto the back of the skull of Jin. Jin, though, not staying down. Oh! A missed to the face and oh, goddamn punt to the... Oh, oh shit, goddamn Smooth! <laughs> God <damn. laughs> he just, he had fucking Satoshi just pushed into the apron. And I roll on the outside. Adonis going up, almost going up for a big power bomb. Smooth though, getting out of danger. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> butterfly suplex right there, if you will. Oh. Uh, Oh, another suplex, Satoshi. I'm surprised Satoshi's still going. Honestly, I'm surprised Arthur's still going. Arthur's still fighting his ass off. How old is Arthur, you say? He's immortal. That's how old he is. Electro, what? <laughs> Look at the, the top is getting fucked. <laughs> he was getting just hit on both sides of that spectrum. Holy shit. One day, ladies and gents, we'll get another elimination in this match. <laughs> so I think it's trying to. Computer-wise, they're not wanting to. <laughs> oh, Swoo was like, I don't like Hulk Hogan. Personal. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Swoo. <laughs> Fucking up Adonis and I oh wait. Right now, Swoo and Jin. Both men knowing each other pretty well. Smooth, though, taking advantage. I think Jim was thinking, working together, cut down the odds, leave them being the only two. Right now, oh. Big move over there. And right now, smooth, goddamn. I feel like I'm gonna fire Arthur if he doesn't win tonight. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just not a big fan of the Arthur thing. I got to seeing him. I don't know. If he wins, he stays. That's right, it's a career match for Arthur. <laughs> no, <dude. laughs> Arthur comes back with a mask. Oh, America, brother! <laughs> Satoshi, okay, Satoshi's just fucking playing on Smooth at this point. Satoshi's just respecting everybody. Oh, God. Satoshi, though, not gonna take it. And now Smooth getting thrown back in the middle of the ring. 
Oh, Arthur and Adonis. Oh, correction, Arthur Satoshi trying to double team with Satoshi. Oh, Satoshi with the mist. Oh, into a punt. I think Adonis may be out. All right, what is Satoshi going? Satoshi, it doesn't matter on the outside. These have to happen. It doesn't matter. It has to happen on the inside. Satoshi just made Jin tap out. Didn't make a tap out for the title. But it doesn't matter if it doesn't happen on the outside. It should. I know. Oh, big sling blade from Adonis. Do Satoshi. No man wants to go back in the middle of the ring. Nobody, nobody wants to get eliminated. It's the safest way. Spoon saying, fuck that though. Oh. That's Jin in the ring. Look like Satoshi. Jin, we're getting a TikTok championship rematch here. Oh. Satoshi couldn't make him tap for the title, but he's going to make him tap out here. He's going to make Jin tap out here, and Jin taps out. Oh, God. I don't know what the hell Adonis did to make Smooth flip, but goddamn, he made Smooth flip. Uh oh, the big falcon arrow. Adonis in control. I think Arthur's so goddamn big. Why? <laughs> we paid two cents for Arthur to be here. That's where we took. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know why, man. I just, I, for some reason, I am just not a big fan of Arthur. <laughs> I, I'm the Arthur hater. <laughs> oh, Mach 3 to the outside for the Donis to Satoshi. Oh, Smooth, though, going ham without our final four. Smooth, oh, was looking to probably go from... Something dangerous on Adonis. Oh, big neck breaker. Ah, look at that. He's fucking up Satoshi, brother. Oh, we can't go brother, because we go brother, then we get sued. <laughs> He's wearing him down. He's wearing him down. Oh, God. The gut shots, the punch shots. God damn, we're already starting off fucking uh, <laughs> Phoenix C crazily. Right now. Oh, god damn. Satoshi, he's wanting Arthur. Arthur's looking. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Arthur's like, I got him. Didn't expect him just to run at him like that. Ah, Arthur's like, take him on, brother. Now we got a bear hug. He's like, I love you. Ah, 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 ah. He's evil. Ah! Oh, Satoshi taps! That's actually surprising. I don't think we've ever seen Satoshi tap. Doesn't matter if it's not in the middle of the ring. Arthur should realize this. Being a veteran, if you will. No, not that. No, just like a ring vet. Since he's as old as fucking Hulk Hogan. Oh, it looks like... Oh, goddamn! God Arthur. Oh, you stung me, bro. No, not brother, brother. <laughs> yeah, it has to end with an ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he says Hulk Hogan st uh, stole it. He was like, brother. So Hogan was his like brother. How dare you, brother? All right, smooth. Let us sign big. On. Oh shit! Oh shit! Guys, did the back of his neck hit the god? There's blood everywhere. <laughs> Holy shit! God damn. No, nobody wants to finish this in the ring. Nobody wants to finish this in the ring. They're like, I'm happy to be fourth place, guys. Let's just keep on fighting. We can keep on fighting. We can do it. <laughs> I'm not being computers at this point. What the fuck's going on? So then I'm doing just like, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> genuinely funny. Oh, Satoshi, again with the mist, into a punt, just fucking a daughter's.
One day, one day we'll get elimination, y'all. One day. Well, before we get there, uh, how's everyone doing today, y'all? Since uh, this shit's gone absolute bonkers at this point. Oh, wait. Oh, oh Adonis playing dirty, gouging the eye. Going for an eye gouge there, Adonis. Probably looking to put Satoshi out of commission. Oh. Satoshi just fucking took that. Uh oh, I think I got these. Satoshi was probably a bad idea. Oh, big, big fucking suplex right there. And Adonis on the outside. Everyone in the ring. Smooth. Why are you looking to take the crime boss out? Looking to make Satoshi tap out. We've seen it tap out before earlier. Satoshi's out. Satoshi's out. We're down to Arthur, Adonis, and Smooth Marino. Adonis has been in this predicament. A couple times in his career so far, and a big power bomb. Oh, Arthur was trying to take out Smooth. Who's not having it? Smooth's like this Hulk Hogan reject is not gonna win this match. He's gonna end Arthur right here, right now. I think Smooth's thinking about it. Oh, Adonis with a low blow to Smooth Marino. He saw Smooth being cocky as hell. Adonis going for the low blow. Oh, it's Adonis going. Oh, it's Adonis going for another Mach 3 here. Yes, it is! And it's Arthur taking advantage! And he him with a big leg drop! It took Arthur three years. I swear to God, if he wins, I'm actually going to be pissed. <laughs> this is the problem with the Hulk Hogan reject, is that people will get pissed. <laughs> and Arthur punching the, just hitting the shit out of Smooth. <laughs> oh, what the? I don't even know what the fuck happened there. Smooth out of nowhere just popped out a fucking fireball. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Adonis sending Smooth back in the ring. I swear to God, if Adonis or Smooth get eliminated. Oh! Big fucking kick right there! Oh, Arthur! Arthur going up for a headlock! Looking to knock out Smooth Marino here! And Smooth is... Smooth's knocked out! Smooth's knocked out! Wait, Adonis! With Adonis drop! Is that it? Is that it? One, two, three, Adonis winning the whole thing! Adonis has won opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. <laughs> Uh, looks like he has a, it looks like Adonis has a few choice words here. <laughs> That's right! I just showed everyone here why I'm the best! I'm money in the bank! Oh, sorry, am I not allowed to say that? Sorry. Just like I'm not allowed to say that I am actually a former PXT champion! Yeah, that's right, everyone here doesn't know it because the admins, the admins, or should I actually go for the straight shot here? Mr. Cyclone Hunter doesn't want us to disclose our past. Yeah, I'm a former PXT champion. That whole Night of Adonis crap that he was talking about at Money in the Bank, no. That shit happened at Bankrupt. Three years ago, I defended my tag team titles with Bill Grip. Yeah, forgot to mention that. Then I went on to claim my gold. I'm not here to hide anything no more. I'm here to be me. And that is Adonis. 
I showed it at Operation. I showed it against Slade. And I'm showing it at Annihilation. Because I ain't holding anything back. And Mason, Satoshi, everybody in that shitty syndicate. Good luck. Because it won't be a one on four when we get there. Uh, great question on what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, um, uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, uh, Oh, I mean, he said the name of the next show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, our next big show is Annihilation. <laughs> Fuck you, Adonis, you son of a bitch. Now, I don't know what the hell he's talking about uh, with the whole, like, we'll be a one on four, so I, I don't know what he's getting on there. Um, but uh, apparently, apparently something's going to be happening. Uh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, Annihilation is our next big show. Now, I want to point out something with these with Annihilation. Annihilation is going to be our version of Elimination Chamber. Now, with that said, the United States Championship will not be defended in that match. That will be a one-on-one -on -one with Adonis and now Mason Dixon with the Syndicate more likely at ringside. Um, God damn. How the fuck did he win? <laughs> I'm getting really impressed on how Adonis just keeps winning. He's on a full-on winning streak at this point. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I know. Gertie's fired, thank God. Yes, Arthur is fired. <laughs> He's gonna come back in a mask. It's not me, brother! <laughs> Uh, but yes, with Annihilation, uh, pretty much um, the two titles that will be defended in the Annihilation match are going to be the Hardcore Championship and the TikTok Championship, which means Shane Henry is defending the Hardcore Championship tonight in a Hardcore match this time, um, is defending it tonight. If he wins, he will not defend it again until Annihilation. Now, if his opponent wins, that goes same thing, Versa. Uh, vice versa. Uh, next week, the TikTok champion, the dog, will defend his championship. And same thing, if he wins that week, he will not defend it again until Annihilation. Or if the his opponent wins, they will not defend that title again until Annihilation. Um, so, yeah. The rest of the night, though, are qualifying matches because the annihilation match is a six-man match so we got five matches they're going to be all qualifying matches and then to main event tonight ladies and gentlemen it is the actual rematch between the jeffries and the syndicate for the pxt tag team championships uh so that's going to be uh that's going to be interesting but right now we're getting into our first qualifiers of the night now <laughs> arthur has to die <laughs> You want, you want to have made it worst? You want to have made it really worst? Is that he, he knocked out Smooth. And if we all know, well, not Arthur himself, but we all know Hulk Hogan's history, that's what makes it a little worse. <laughs> Whatever. Either way, onto. Onto. The first qualifiers of the Annihilation match. Looks like it's none other than the franchise himself. The owner of EHW. Which again, if you guys want to go check that out, go on down to his Twitch channel. It should be in our description. You guys go check him out. He hosts them every Friday, usually late in the evening. Uh, I believe it is incorrect. It is uh, Central Time around eight seven nine depending on uh the actual like if stuff's coming up but uh pretty much usually it's late in the evening go check them out uh now honestly it's always a treat to be in those things <laughs> well i never end them but i get to be in like the party or so i'm in like a i'm in i'm in gorilla if you will <laughs> he stuck from me he stuck me from behind damn coward actually yeah adonis at least went straight up to his face and was like hey yo bitch come on. 
So it looks like Franchise is going to be going against his own tag team partner, Adam Paul. Now, no, they aren't actual tag team partners, but they did team up for the qualifiers. <laughs> They had team up in the qualifiers. Paul actually shocked everyone with his old style way of wrestling. Because hell, it looked like he almost picked up a win against the team of Anthony and Electro. So now the question is, can Mr. Adam Paul put down the franchise and get his spot to fight for the PXC Hardcore Championship at Annihilation? Well, there's no weapons of all people will bleed. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, not really joking because people will bleed in the annihilation, but still. <laughs> Gonna be the franchise against Adam Paul. No, oh, goddamn Paul coming up with a big clothesline of franchise. Because honestly, in the back, franchise has been pretty much putting a lot of blame on Paul about the qualifiers for the Bond match. Franchise says if he wasn't teamed up with someone like Adam Paul, they would have picked up the win. And Paul looking to gain a bit of vengeance because of those words. Them are fighting words, franchise. Oh, big disaster kick right there, straight to the face of Adam Paul. Franchise going up, and another disaster kick! Go ahead, Mr. Paul, how easy he is to combat. Oh! Paul not even going with some fancy move, he just comes in with a pure, pure fucking forearm straight to the face of Franchise. Franchise, though, not taking it. Oh! Big combo with a big boot, and now a senton to finish it up! And now, back to the top, and oh, misses the knee drop. Paul looking to take advantage of the mishap and comes in with a big splash. I did point out, Paul is a very old fashioned type of wrestler because hell, back in the day, that would have been an ultimate warrior splash. Here it is for the win. One, two. Paul, honestly, I would say homages the old style way of wrestling. Because even with that, that was that was the ultimate uh, warrior splash right there. Hello, welcome to PXC. Right now, we are watching one of the qualifiers for our next Big Show's Annihilation match. If you're questioning what Annihilation match is, it is pretty much the Elimination Chamber. We are just changing up the name just because of fun. And yeah. <laughs> Right now, Paul getting franchise. Sends it back into the ring. Yeah, right now, I gotta give props to Paul. He's really making the old style of the way of wrestling really work out for him here. Oh, oh, maybe not everything old-fashioned for Mr. Paul. Yes, that was an Alabama slam, but that was a, that was a new way to execute the maneuver compared to the old-fashioned way. Oh, shit. Coming over with a big strike, straight to the face of Franchise. Franchise, though, not going to take any more. Now comes in. Oh! Comes in with a springboard blockbuster. Oh, was it a blockbuster, dumbass? Yeah, I know. Oh, Franchise trying to roll up. Misses it. Paul taking advantage. Scraping the top of his skull with his knee. Oh, shit! God damn! That was a huge ass headbutt. Is that, that is not enough to take a franchise? Is that enough to take a franchise? No, franchise kicks out. Holy shit. Now it's into the ropes. Oh, Paul misses. And franchise looking to claim back control of this match. Franchise looking. Oh, god damn. It's the fall away suplex out there. That's what that was. No, it wasn't. I know. Shut up, brain. Oh, the Franchiser! Is that it? That wasn't the Franchiser. One, two! The ref is trying to see if Paul's shoulders were down. What the fuck? That is an excellent question. I do not know. Please do not resend it, because my notifications are on, and we're trying to watch the show. <laughs> oh, shit! Goddamn! I, I, was that... 
Was that a Phoenix? <laughs> I think that was a Springboard Phoenix Splash. Right now. Oh. Goes on the ropes. Goes over. He went under. Went over. And now sends it flipping into. Oh, a big knee strike. Oh, and now finally bust open. Mr. Paul. Oh, franchise. Oh, was looking at Paul. He set up something big against Paul. Paul, though, reversing the maneuver. And now looking to come back at it. Oh, shit. Go right there. Now a big elbow straight to the chest of franchise. And another splash. Man, honestly, I gotta give props to Paul. Paul is actually holding his own. He has an old way, old style of wrestling, but goddamn, it looks like it's combating franchise pretty well right here. Goddamn. Big back elbow shot straight to the face. Oh, now look at that, Paul. Paul showing that maybe it was you, franchise. Maybe it was you being the reason we lost that match. We lost that qualifier. Oh, oh shit, dude, that was clean. That was clean. A clean catch from Franchise. Dropping Paul. Franchise, I think, finally saying enough's enough. Oh. Oh, Paul, not done. Paul's not done. Paul just fucking. Oh, my God. Dude, Paul just fucking. No, so the shit out of that. Holy shit. That proceeds. To... Oh, my God. Paul looking to put down Oh franchise! Oh my god! That was Paul's heart attack right there! One! Two! No! Franchise refuses to give up! That was Paul's cardiac arrest, that's what that was. And oh, was trying to go for a big maneuver, doesn't get it. Franchise gets out of the way. And Franchise put down Adam Paul here. Gives him the corner, what's Franchise gonna go for here? Again, I don't know what Franchise is going for the corner. I, I generally don't know what he's trying to set up, but right now I wouldn't even go for it at this point. I would just say, try to end the fucking thing. I think Franchise thinking that knee shot was enough to put down Adam Paul. Here it is for the win. One, two, three. And Franchise advances to the Annihilation match with a Hardcore Championship. Man, Adam Paul shocked the world for a moment there. Everyone thought he was going to fucking pick up the win. But holy shit. Franchise was like, nah. It's my time. It's my time. Bish. Franchise looking to now face off against his EHW brother in arm. Oh, right now, Shane. Because Shane is defending the title tonight. It could change. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we are now moving on to our next qualifiers for the Hardcore Championship match. Again, we are not showing who is competing because it is a surprise. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens here. And on to our next match. That's right. We just go straight away. There's no god dang transitions. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like. What about C? The symbol. The symbol of hope. Eh. The definition. Of never surrender. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not out of that. Michael Slade. I want to point out Slade has not had. Slade has not had a good couple of weeks, as, as you will. Oh, he came up short against Adonis. 
at bar for the bankrupt briefcase. God damn it. <laughs> I still, still gotta acknowledge that little pipe bomb Adonis just did there. Uh, well, that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, man. I did not expect him to just go ham into it. Oh, fuck, dude. Goddamn. Bye. Uh, take, take some legal actions, if you will. <laughs> Look, man, we did not expect Adonis to throw out, like, a CM Punk type thing there, or a... Uh, uh, fuck, what's that guy's name? Vic Russo... Vic? Vic or Mick Russo guy? Thing? Oh, okay, watch! You know what? Hold up! This could actually be a good match right here. Hold up. Because though Onyx is now known as the big, thick, baddie of PXT, and goddamn, that fucked up the mic a little bit. But though he is known as that, I mean, he's still not bad in the ring. Oh, look, he has a B on his goddamn trunks, too. He know he a baddie. He's like, come get it, ladies. Come and get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he, he was like, wipe all that sweat. Huh! He's ready. He's ready for the latest. Here it is. Onyx against Michael Slade. Oh, shit. Goddamn Onyx right now coming straight off the bat on Michael Slade. Holy shit. Slade coming back. And oh, but Slade coming back with a disaster kick. We're going to stop the momentum of Onyx. Honestly, not a bad call right there. Because once Onyx starts kicking off, Onyx literally starts kicking off a little bit. Onyx, a former TikTok champion. Honestly, uh, Brady Fourth Wall did not expect to see Onyx in 2K24 of this year. <laughs> oh, and Onyx now looking. The damage the arm is Michael Slade. Oh, Slade though. Again, living. By the creed of never surrender. We're never gonna see Slade tap out here tonight. Well, uh, that's actually lying. I think we have seen Slade tap. Have we? That, I don't know against the uh, the war machines at Rush. I, I don't know if Slade tapped out or he got pinned. I believe he got pinned. Cause I know Flo had a submission hole, but I don't know if he did anything. But oh well. With that said, Slade still lives by the creed of never surrender. Blade sending in Onyx to the corner. Right now. Oh, shit. Big forearm shot. And oh, Onyx with a running forearm. Straight to Slade. Yeah, no, Slade, I think, is... I don't know. It's it's hard to watch Slade right now because Slade has been a, a little bit down. And you're on a suicide pile driver from Onyx to Slade. No, only gets a two count. Well, it's going to do a lot more to take out Michael Slade here. But right now, Onyx has been in nothing but control of this match. Owen proceeds to bust open Slade after that. Onyx was setting up sign. Slade, though. No, allowing get Oh, drops him down. Slade looking to proceed. Get Onyx with a big spine buster! And now comes in for a pin! One! Two! Oh, gets a two count off Onyx. Onyx, though, still wanting to fight. Oh, big punch there. And it looks like Slade. Oh, look at the setup! For a final verdict! Is that enough? One! Two! No, Onyx kicks out. And the crowd chanting at the crowd chanting that they want Slade and Onyx to fight forever. 
Oh, I think Onyx was trying to go for another... I guess knee bar there. I really don't know what to call that move. But Slade, not gonna have it. Oh my God! Onyx is dead. He's dead. My God, he's dead. Oh my God! Damn, could you imagine if he landed that though? That would have been sick. <laughs> <laughs> Big miscalculations, but does not stop Slade. Slade's refusing to give up here. And, oh, big middle rope, elbow, straight to the chest of Onyx. Oh, but Onyx looking to fight. It has a little bit of life in him. Oh, it gets him with a flatliner. Is that it? To put Slade out of commission. One, two. No, Slade refuses to surrender, and Onyx is pissed. Ox like fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Bug Slade still living by the creed. Never surrender. I think Slade was trying to set up for the combo again, but gets caught on the flatliner from Onyx. It is one, two, no, again. Slade living by that creed. It is never surrender. Damn it. <laughs> How many times are you gonna repeat that? Until he never surrenders! <laughs> Onyx setting up Slade, and oh god, hits him with a big shoulder tackle. And right now, again, Onyx, I won't lie, Onyx has had a good control of this match compared to Slade. Oh no, not on the outside, not on the, oh my god, it's suicidal! Pile driver on the outside! Oh, Onyx is trying to send him to the barricade. Doesn't get it. By the count of three, ladies and gentlemen, Slade. Wait, is Slade looking to claim victory like this? Oh, no. Oh, was well, looking to, but doesn't get it. And now Slade taking advantage with a shoulder tackle. Was coming in, trying to go in with more offense. Not getting any in Onyx now. Oh, 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 look at this, a roll-up right there from Slade to Onyx, one, two. Oh, Onyx kicks out, though. One day we'll see a roll-up victory. Oh, Slade, got Onyx up. And drops into the corner for Snickers. Oh, I'm trying to go for something big. Onyx, though, not having it. Onyx, not having it. But neither is Slade. Slade sends it to the ropes. Oh, gets him with a gut shot. And now, Slade is getting pissed off. We're seeing Slade's frustrations, but Onyx still refusing to give in, and now goes for a pin. One, two. Oh, I think the back of the skull of Slade hit the mat there. It looks like no one's happy with that. Slade's rolling out and... No, he dropped. Uh, gentlemen, I think we need, uh... Medical attention for Mr. Slade. Goddamn, everyone's fucking pissed. Holy shit, what are we... What is this, Dominic? Is this Dominic Mysterio right now? What the fuck? Oh, it's like, yeah, that's right, bitch. I put him down. I put him down. God damn. Yeah, no, Slade's out, though. Yeah, they're getting the stretcher out. Slade right now is being stretchered out. I'm assuming because not only did he go in a crazy-ass match with Adonis at Bomb, but he also got attacked by the Syndicate. After Mason's match, after Mason proceeded to attack Mox after theirs. So it looks like Slade might be out for a while, guys. Damn. You hate to see it, but yeah, no, it looked like the back of his skull hit the mat pretty hard. So I'm assuming that's what happened there. I'm not sure. Um we're wishing for him the best of his recoveries. He's all good. Um, hopefully it's not too serious to where he's out for numerous uh, weeks. Like uh, Blackfire. Blackfire got injured after Bond. And uh, 
we will not be seeing her for a while. After. So we'll see where Blackfire stands. We haven't gotten any more uh, news reports besides just her um, not going to be out for a number of weeks. So, but with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, the man of the hour, he has put all the naysayers out. He has sh shut up literally all the admins because nobody believed that he was going to be able to put down Devil at Bond, but he came out as something no one expected and put Devil on the mat and finished him. But it looks like that's not even the end of it. Because now, uh, from what my understanding is, we're seeing the dead rise from the... It looks like Mr. Jacob Tristed Wildfire has been sending some messages. Oh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I now give the floor to one and only Carlos Hernandez. Thank you for the time. First off, I want to give a uh, shout out to uh, Devil for a great match of Bond. And I think that victory, and I think that match deserves a little toast. So, to a great match and a great battle, cheers. <clears throat> now, I thought I was gonna move on and probably win gold to be my next challenge, but apparently I realized that I'm turning into a uh, paranormal activity magnet here in PXT. First with Devil, and now Jacob Wildfire. I saw what happened at Operation. You got locked in that casket, and that same casket got set on fire. And you said you enjoyed every single moment of it. From my understanding, you're a vengeful spirit that will never die. Now you're after me. Me, of all people. Saying that you want to see my blood spread all around the, on the mat. And want to tear me limb from limb. Then you challenge me, or him, to a no-holds-barred match. <laughs> you know, they say vengeance can blind someone's judgment. I put down Devil in Monster's Ball at Bond. That doesn't worry you? And it wasn't me. It was the last outlaw. Demon number nine. And he has no problem putting you down too, Wildfire. Anytime, any place. If I were you, I would start worrying and ask myself, I got myself into. Because like I said last time, my demons come in many forms and show no mercy. I'm pulling all the strings I have with God, hoping to find a better way and all I pray is time. But let's bury the hatchet in your head. If that really doesn't give you an answer, Wildfire, I'll see you soon. Stay wicked. Thank you. I'm sound like sh fucking fat in words there. So I guess, ladies and gentlemen, we will be seeing uh, Wildfire and Hernandez probably go at it. Soon, we had annihilation. Yes, only time will tell. But for right now, we are going to be moving on to the next match. Yes, this is the next qualifiers because uh, we do still got two more. And then after that, we have the Hardcore Championship. But right now, it's on to the next qualifier. For some reason, the background is blue again. What the fuck? One day, one day, instead of dropping the next DLC, they'll actually fix the fucking game. <laughs> Oh god, it, it, it generally is annoying.
Oh shit. Well, looks like Johnny Tagalowas surprised everybody with the not even surprise. He impressed us even to where we decided to give him a title opportunity once again. This time the hardcore opportunity because he he loves being inside a cage when he heard the annihilation match is technically elimination chamber. It is inside a cage. He was like, bring it on, merch. So, Dr. Galoa looking. Claim a spot in this match. So oh, is he related to the other Tagaloa? Shut up! No, I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> Oh no, man, Simone's like repopulate big time. <laughs> in in the words of Gabriel Iglesias, they're, they're just Hawaiian Mexicans. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Look, it was on a stand up show, I swear to God he said it. <laughs> oh! Well, now, this is surprising. Former PXC YouTube Champion G7. Look at the fight, possibly for the hardcore gold this time. Agreed. G7 went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Venom. Venom shocked the world by actually putting G7 down. Now, question is, do we bring some question in G7's actual health? Because from what we know, G7 has never lost like that. Or has never lost in general like that. And nah, that's how there's honest thoughts. JK, it's a joke. Please don't cancel us. <laughs> it was an actual thing that... Um, what was it? Gabriel Iglesias said, I believe it was in his Hawaiian stand-up. And I was like, okay, explain before I call you racist. <laughs> and everything he said was like, oh, fuck, it's sort of true. <laughs> oh, shit. And I was like, sit him a bit. Goddamn, dude. Angie 7 be a Samoan slayer, if you will. Oh, God. Tuggaloa not holding anything back. Then Tuggaloa understands who he's fighting and knows to go full on out. God damn. He said we're trying to start off explosive, but it looks like missing that shot has costed him big time in this. And now Tuggaloa, oh, trying to go explosive himself, misses the springboard splash. And now, oh God. Big form there. G7 not able to become the longest reigning YouTube champion like someone, CJ, but he held it with fucking pride and he loved every second of being a YouTube champion. Oh, shit. Being flipped over, but now the question is, is it is this possibly too soon for him going for more gold? Or is G7 looking to probably race to become the first ever Grand Slam PXT Champion. One, the only man that's close to that precious title right now, or the only two men really, is Rocky Mercado and, and Mox. Oh shit, Kamora Lock doesn't get it. He's seven, he's to understand, he's fighting a former, oh! Street Fighter here, but not even that. He was an underground cage fighter as well. So, oh, saying like that is practically textbook reversal for him. It's not saying it's going to be like not hard to get out for him at all. Do you know what the hell you're saying, Cyclone? No, I do not! <laughs> Cyclone, are you going good? You okay? No, my personalities are coming out. Oh, fuck. Are you dying? Maybe. No. <laughs> You know, they're always seeing uh, Sleepy Cyclone at this point, because normally this is why I wait to five. And big spine buster from Tagaloa to G7. Doesn't get it. G7 kicks out. Yeah, Sleepy Cyclone has like 15 personalities. Add up on that. <laughs> God damn. Tagaloa just wanting to put down fucking G7. 
Oh, and the true Samoan spike! God damn. One, two, no, G7 still refuses to kick out. And I think Juggaloa is now getting frustrated. He's mad that he didn't win the Bond match with Castle. And I think the frustrations are showing right now. Drew G7 actually is playing it a lot more cool to where he's not, oh, letting it get to him. Sagaloa, he's letting his anger out. And that could cost Sagaloa as well. Yeah, it looks like Tagaloa is just trying to bust open the Slayer of PXT. <laughs> what the hell was the what was that wa long ass wave for a count, ref? Four. Five. Oh, now you count fast. Oh, I think G7 might be out. Tagaloa, Tom and Smack, telling him get back in the ring, bitch. Tell him to get back in the ring. Tagaloa saying, get the fuck out of my ring. This is my fucking ring. Oh, Tagaloa. Oh. Tagaloa wants more of a fight from G7. He wants the old G7. G7 that actually went. The hell and back to fire. G7 gets out of the way. Got me to seize it coming. Now, the thing G7 is taking advantage of the emotions of Tugaloa. Tugaloa's anger might be blinding him a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Big spear right there. One, two, three. And that's enough to put him down. I think we got to talk about that. There's a lot of spears here. <laughs> Big spear from Tugaloa. Now Tugaloa is going to be in the Annihilation match at Annihilation. Oh, god damn. Well, holy fuck. There was a lot of spears, though. <laughs> we got to talk about the spears. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we were talking recently because um, we're thinking we're going to have to make an actual um, list or like actual um, changes to some people's movesets because we do feel like the spear should not be a regular move. Now with Johnny, we don't know, so we gotta look into that. Um, but we don't think the spear should be set up into like end combo move. We believe the spear should be uh, an actual finisher or signature because that's what it is always represented as in WWE and any other promotion. A spear is a big heavy hitting move. So to have it as a regular basic move is sort of an insult to the move as well and to an insult to like everyone else so we're gonna look into that uh so heads up if we ever have a time to where we tell somebody in our server that their moveset is going to be uh, viewed or be reviewed and some changes will probably need to be made uh don't be surprised don't be scared about it doesn't mean you guys are in trouble it's just we want to keep the player base as or not player base we want to keep it as fair as possible for everybody in the actual thing uh or in the actual like server and also in pxt because like i said that move is a little bit of a thing and as far as my understanding goes that might have been the interceptor interceptor i think there's been some problems with it because we've been having some issues with that move not as like an end move thing but as if it's a if it's an actual thing but we gotta get into that later uh we'll see what happens um but just a heads up in case in the future if anybody says oh what the hell they're gonna review my shit don't be surprised it is just something we're gonna be doing uh going forward because uh rocky is actually in charge of reviewing move sets and making sure nothing's too cheesy for the cpus so that where everyone's always gonna get 100 percent win rate because if that's the case then the fun is sort of taken out of it, you know so just want to point that out i wanted to point that out because uh we just saw it um i don't know again if that is his finisher if that's a finisher Completely fine. If it's a signature, completely fine. If it's the end of a uh, fucking what's it called? Stop the shit. Okay. But yeah, uh, just heads up there. Just want to let people know. I uh, want to point out, is my mic even unmuted? Yes, it is. All right. Fan fucking tastic. So we are now on to the PXC Hardcore Championship. Now, this will be seeing who will be defending the championship at Annihilation. That's right. So if Shane Henry can successfully defend the PXC Hardcore Championship 
against. Again. Against Mr. Jack Daniels. St. Henry goes all the way to Annihilation as the PXD Hardcore Champion defending that title in that match. I would be surprised if somehow he retains. It would be actually be crazy if he did. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is set for one fall, and it is for the PXC Hardcore Championship! Why is it not the PXC World Heavyweight Hardcore Championship? What the fuck, man? I don't know, man! Hey, Lance, how's it going? Just let you know, you qualified for the Annihilation match. You almost lost! <laughs> you, you qualified for the match! <laughs> It was against Adam Paul, too. But right now, we're, you have made it into the actual hardcore match. We're about to see if it will be Jack Daniels fighting an annihilation for the hardcore championship, defending it, or if Mr. Shane Henry can prolong his long title reign as the hardcore champion. That's right, a lot of opportunities here for both this week and next week. Because next week we'll be having the TikTok qualifiers. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. None other than the PXC Hardcore Champion, Mr. Shane Henry. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. He never takes shit. He never. I don't remember the lyrics. But either way. Like an adjective, I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be. It's PXC hardcore champion. So far, he's been really good at defending the championship. He looks to become the next hardcore icon of PXC. Looking at dethrone Mox's record, which, if I'm correct, Mox's record is from. I believe in November to February, so three months? Three, two months either or. That is, that's what it's for. We're right now to the ring announcer. Introducing first, he is the challenger. He wants everybody here that has a beer to drink it now. Take a shot for Mr. Jack Daniels. And his opponent, he is the man that says womp womp like a motherfucker and doesn't give a shit. He is the PXC Hardcore Champion, Shane Henry. Look, man, so I don't do their stats. I, I gotta do. I gotta do some more stuff for that because there's always long pauses. <laughs> there's always long pauses. Here we are, ladies and gents. It is Jack Daniels going one on one against the hardcore champion Shane Hendry. Now, no, Jack has had title opportunities. He has not actually been able to win the opportunity he gets holy shit that's a message Francis no <laughs> alright here it is oh big gut shot right now Daniel's coming straight off the bat he's trying to make Shane drink he's trying to make the man drunk every shot that Jack Daniels hits is, an, is trying to knock out <laughs> Shane whether it's the beer or it's punches Oh, Shane. Oh, goddamn big fucking knee shot. Oh, my God. Shane, like I said, looking to dethrone Mox on the longest reigning hardcore champion in PXT. It looks like he's getting a fucking ladder. Oh, everyone's saying they want table. Shane's saying, I'm getting whatever the fuck I give you. Oh, Daniels. Oh, is Daniels gonna comply? No, he's not. Daniels also like, I'm drunk. I don't know what they said. Oh shit! Oh, oh god! Oh shit! 
It, oh god, it looked like his shoulder hit like the bad side of that fucking ladder. Daniel's in the corner right now. Shane looking to the upper hand here. And oh, oh god! Middle rope disaster, a corner disaster kick, if you will. One! Oh, only gets a one count off of Mr. Daniels. And a beautiful fucking moonsault right there. Right now, oh, it looks like Shane's fired up. Shane! Oh, what the fuck? Dude, he made, he made that ladder fly with magic! Shane saying it's time to get to work, bitch! Go! <laughs> Shane just looks like a smug asshole. Dude, that, was, that was straight to the fucking camera, too. <laughs> Oh, Shane was trying to go over for a float over DDT. Daniels, though, not taking it. Daniels not going to have it. Shane refusing. Shane looking. Oh, for the silencer. Not the point, Mr. Daniels out of commission. One, two. No, Daniels still fighting. Shane's actually surprised that he didn't stay silenced. It's the beer. It's making him immune. Ah! <laughs> If you're drinking too much beer, you become super banned. One proof, watch that one episode of American Dad. <laughs> you survive car crashes. God, it's such a fucked up joke, but it's <laughs> it's from a fucking TV show, I swear. <laughs> Alright, goes oh, oh, Shane missed the clothesline. Oh, big knee shot right there from Daniels! The Shane! Oh shit, could that have just changed the whole outcome? No, Shane! Looking to go to the top. What's Shane going for? Jin, to the top. Oh, a top rope. Fucking clothesline. Oh, 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 God. He's hitting him with the... It looked like he hit him with the nuts. I'm sorry. That's what it looks like. Ooh. Big knee shot right there from Shane to Daniels. One, two, three, and Daniels is out. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. And it looks like Shane Henry. No, it's Popeye physics. <gasps> I get it. He ate chicken. I knew it. Shane retains the hardcore championship. With ease. That, that was with actual ease. But it's also because Jack Daniels really hasn't been in a lot of uh, hardcore matches, so that is understandable. Oh, excuse me. But well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Shane Henry will be at Annihilation fighting for the Hardcore Championship. Now the question is, can he defend it against the likes of the people that are in the match right now? Is Franchise, Onyx, and Johnny Tagaloa. But we still got two more matches to see who will be the final competitor. So in other words, right now we have four. One, two, three, four. We need to see who the other two are. And then we get to our main event, the Tag Team Championship rematch. But right now we're about to see the next qualifiers for match. Yo, Hunter, I need to... Oh, no. Who died? I think someone died. Oh, no. God damn. Pity fuck. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. There's none other than Rodrigo. Or YouTube run of PXC, because now I have to say YouTube run of PXC because of someone that decided to pipe bomb the shit out of the show today. Uh, Rodrigo is our inaugural. PXT champion, the first ever PXT champion, first ever for YouTube run, a PXT, fuck you Adonis, that bitch. Adrio looking to possibly claim some gold again here. And this would be the perfect opportunity too, because technically, shit. Rodrigo, hell. 
from what we've seen from him in at least last year's game, we haven't seen him compete this year. Uh, one-on-one wise. Nah, from what I heard, Mason is pissed. Oh, fuck. Look, man. Not my fault that he holds two championships and one of them hasn't been defended at all. So, no, Now the question, well, the question I want to ask is, is he pissed that Adonis is now going for his title? Or is he pissed that he's defending the title? Or is he pissed at Satoshi not fucking doing his fucking job? Oh, oh. I don't think we've ever seen these two fight, actually. Like, one-on-one-wise, I don't think we've ever seen Jack Flo against Rodrigo. Okay, this this could actually be really interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, no name is Jack Flo against the Blue Menace, Rodrigo. Now, no, from what we see with Rodrigo in the past, he has been absolute monster to fight in the ring. He's usually very dominant. He's pissed that he has to deal with Adonis. Well, will be and him are in the same boat, because apparently Adonis wants to fuck over the admins. <laughs> and fuck over uh, me as well. Because, uh, yeah, 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 I guess now I'm going to have no choice but disclose the shit that Adonis is actually talking about. But uh, that will be at the end of the show, more likely. But either way... Here it is. Oh, big shoulder tackle from Rodrigo. This is what I was talking about. Rodrigo is very, very explosive when he's in the ring, but he's never gone against someone like Jack Flo either. Rodrigo only has a handful of one-on-one -on -one matches here in PXT. Some of them being against former PXT champion, Bone Tubular, where he did come up short against Mr. Bone as well. And no, we still wish for speedy recovery for Mr. Bone Tubular. Hopefully, he will be good to come back in the future. As far as we know, it is a, it is a pretty big serious injury to where he is going to be out for a while. And I think they crushed all the bones in both men's bodies. But somehow, they're refusing to let the match end. Oh, God. This is what I'm talking about with Rodrigo. He's very explosive and he's very... Oh, God! Dominant in the ring. There's a reason why he's the blue menace. Uh oh Jack was trying to get him up. Rodrigo not going to have it. Oh, he's trying to go for sign. Flo, though, not going to have it. Not going to allow it. Oh, Flo, look at the... Oh! Good takedown right there from Flo to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, though, still not going to have it. It looks like both men now going to go in for blow to blow. Oh, big chop. Another big chop. Another big chop. We're getting chop galore here. Oh. Oh, it looks like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Flo and Rodrigo going down. The crowd's going nuts. The crowd's going fucking nuts. Flo looking to win this exchange possibly, and he wins it! Big clothesline to drop Rodrigo! Both men busted open, both men wanting this end! Big spy busters! It is one, two, Rodrigo kicks out! Well, it looks like that was a last dish effort kick out. That's what it looks like. I think Flo has... <laughs> Really took in the fight to Rodrigo. Oh, it's surprising! Oh, big neck breaker. Now, ah, oh god, big power slam! And oh, just tosses him down. And Rodrigo looks fired up. 
And the goal again. Oh, a spear! Right there! Now that we can confirm is this actual finisher too! Flow though! Not done! How can you confirm that's a spear? Because I, I made him. <laughs> oh god! Big shoulder tackle and Aussie, that took the wins out of flow. Oh! Big clothesline. But uh, it looks like uh, it looks like later tonight we might hear from possibly Mason Dixon about the situation with Adonis, maybe? Because now here, here's the strange thing that makes this even a little bit more interesting, if y'all will, is that Adonis not only is no more contender for the U.S. Championship now, he's Mr. Bankrupt, which means he can take literally everything, possibly everything, from Mason. Oh, shit! That was a flow. What was it? Flow slammer. No! Rodrigo still kicks out. Somehow, someway, still kicks out of it. Oh, going for a flow. Just proceeding to attack. It's the limbs of Rodrigo. Low signing away. That, honestly, I would focus on the match. Ooh. All right, big maneuver attacking the knee of Rodrigo. Not a bad call. But I do got to point out, Rodrigo doesn't have big explosive lift moves. He has big explosive, like, attacks in general. Oh! So honestly, if I was Flo, I would really be not taking Rodrigo lightly. He's a former champion in his own right. Both tag team and PXT. Ooh. Big power slam and Rodrigo now. Going in the middle rope. Ronnie flow up. And up. Oh! Big shoulder. Well, minorly big shoulder tackle. Oh! Big fucking Pele kick. Oh, flow. Possibly looking to make Rodrigo tap out here tonight. Rodrigo taps out! Flo is in the hardcore match! Flo did again a one-on-one -on -one hardcore match at Bond! But he's gonna go in the entire thing and try to win it all, take his take his brother's title from him. Yeah, well, da well damn, the crowd just fucking went silent. Holy shit. <laughs> they were like, oh, we want the other guy. <laughs> He just went like this too. The crowd was like, ah, get out! <laughs> We're done with you. There's probably a reason for that. There's probably a reason for that, ladies and gents, and I think I know what it is. They heard that Mason's pissed. And they want to hear. Um Shit, I don't even know. <laughs> but what what do we what do we call him? The war general. So we be hearing something from Mr. Mason himself. He demanded a mic and apparently he wants to come and speak his pace. Mr. Mason, with your assault that happened recently with on with Mox, because as far as everyone knew, that was practically gonna be it. Out of nowhere. Slade went in to knock some sense into you, and the syndicate came out and revealed that y'all two have been, apparently been talking. Talking? I wouldn't exactly call it talking. More like cutting the deal if you catch my drift. So, I mean, okay, so I guess the big question we have here is who's running who's this charge? shit? Yes, who's running this shit? Satoshi isn't in charge, if that's what you're wondering. Actually, earlier today, before he went to the match, he told me that he wanted me to be in charge. He wanted me to take my spot at the head of the syndicate, at the head of a certain table, or be the leader of a certain place. Instead of calling it or a table, per se, I would say that I'm the war general when it comes down to this certain thing 
That's what you can call me. The War General. Well, uh, from what we understand, you have uh, a message. Probably to well, right now, I guess we can say you're you. Because the, the strange thing with this predicament is that Adonis technically does have a shot against the PXD world title. He does. But apparently that's not going to happen for two months. He's already named his claim that that's going to happen in two months. Because he's going to let whoever had their Whoa. opportunities have it. Since apparently he has that. And now he gets to go against you to test the waters, as he says, for the U.S. Championship. Well, the only thing I had to say to Mr. Adonis is the fact that if he loses, let's put up a, a wager. If he loses, he forfeits to Mr. Bankrupt. He never gets to touch the PXT Championship as long as I am the PXT Champion. Because if he wants to run around and parade around like he does, then he can be given a title shot. But if he wants a true title shot at the big goal, he can't have it. If he's going to come after the U.S. title. Oh yeah, that's true. So, I mean, I guess we'll have to wait to hear what he has to say about that. Because, uh, yeah, he yeah. pretty much just, uh, uh, he bailed out as the one he, once as he won. He was like, he's done for the night. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see what Adonis' actual response is. But, uh, heck, that's a, that's a big, bold challenge from, I guess we'll have to wait and hear. Uh, did you have any message for the PXT universe? Well, your assault on Mox. As far as, uh, as far as the message for the PXT universe, I've been received very kindly by some people, very unkindly by some others who think I'm a, something of a villain in, in the story of something that isn't true. You see, Mox isn't the good guy you all think he is. Mox is a lunatic. Same as that other little, little boy he runs around with. That pint-sized prick Mikado. It doesn't matter what, what those people think about him because I know the truth about Mox. Mox is, Mox is just another two-bit hood who thinks he can run around here and stake a claim in my PXT universe. But, but thankfully, I'm here to be the hero of this story and keep you people safe from people like him. Now, certain people in, a, in one of the interviews I had backstage think I'm an arrogant ass, but I don't think so. I'm just trying to keep the world safe. It's what I took an oath to do back when I was in, back when I was in the military, and that's what I'm here to do now. And if anybody's got a problem with it, they can step up, and we can settle it like a man, settle it like adults, instead of around talking like some other people do. Especially. Like that one guy who I know is going to want to run for my goal, so I might as well get him out of the way too. The Mountain King. The last outlaw. Or as he calls himself. He better stay out of my way. Because unlike these supernatural beings he's fought, he's never fought somebody like me. And as for what happened with Michael Slade, Michael Slade didn't get any more than he already deserved to get. And his downfall is well deserved. Because from what I've found out about Michael Slade, he's a liar and a coward. You people don't know the real Michael Slade, so let me clue you in. Your big hero, your true hero, is what you call him, right? The Mr. Never Surrender, Never Give Up, huh? Well, let me tell you something about him. He betrayed his own teammate before he even met me. But the only reason he never betrayed me was because he knew I would put the hurt into him, just like I did that hit at Bond. And I will continue to put down each and every one of the people that want to step to the syndicate because we are saving PXT, regardless of what anybody thinks. What only matters to me is what these people think. And it seems like these people think that I'm saving, saving the world, saving the country still, just like I always have. 
you need to believe that. Thank you for your time, Ace. Uh, well, I guess we'll see you later tonight because we understand you will be at ringside for the kid and Bill Cassidy defending the tag team championship. I guess we will oh, see you there. Cyclone is the fact that if you want something done right, sometimes you got to do it yourself. And all respects to Toshi, he's a good man, regardless of what people think. What I really thought was wrong. But the Syndicate will keep their tag team titles. Even if I have to hurt somebody to keep it. And I don't want to, but I will. No one is safe. Oh, well, that's it. Thank you, Mason. We will uh, see you on later tonight. question what is the name of Shawn Michaels don't you do it <laughs> don't you do it so can... <laughs> and with that I pissed off a fucking war general so with that said ladies and gentlemen <laughs> I can strip you for the title I can strip you for the title Mason I'm safe uh, could you imagine that he actually comes in beats my hand <laughs> He's gonna kill me. <laughs> I, I pissed off both sides of the spectrum. Adonis hates me. <laughs> now the syndicate's gonna fucking kill me. Look, they already control my show as it is. I need something, okay? <laughs> all right, but now is on to our final. <laughs> that part, that part will be cut. Um, that part's actually gonna be cut. Oh, Rocky. But um, no, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our final qualifiers uh, for the Hardcore Annihilation map. Um, now, no, is that actually going to be a Hardcore Annihilation? Because you can't really get weapons in Elimination Chamber, so really it's just going to be an Elimination Chamber title. So we'll see what happens. Right now, we're about to see who's going to fight. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Well, it looks like it's going to be none other than, well, formerly known uh, Legendary High Flyer, now known as fucking on steroids, Justin! <laughs> Chat, what do you think about Justin Hunter? God, right. that's fucking. Bleh, bleh. I hate saying chat like that. Yeah, I don't know why. It, it, it just. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, apparently, well, it seems like no one's safe from Mason's rap. Luckily, I'm in a non disclosed location, so none of these guys can find me. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But either way, Justin looking to possibly finally go for some goddamn gold here in PXT. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, uh. This is actually a first. I've actually never had these two fight. Even when uh, I made him and my brother in the old games, these two have never faced off against each other. We have a legendary high fly going against a Triple Crown Champion! Well, former Triple Crown Champion, Electro! Electro. Coming up short in the Bond match with his tag team partner, Morales. If I'm correct, I believe Tuggo Loma was actually the one to eliminate. Or no, it was Cave, actually. Cave put down Electro. We talked to Electro about it, and apparently Electro has been humble. And says it takes a lot of shit to take me out. And in that match, the kid took his opportunity, and I can fucking respect it. Good luck against C. Jill. Uh, apparently, uh, the Electro has, has been humble minorly. He's not a complete asshole as he was with the gold. Dick. No. <laughs> 
but it looks like he's still not done with his chase for gold because he's looking to become a PXT Hardcore Champion, which want to know if he wins that, <laughs> if he does win the Hardcore Championship, Electro will actually be the closest to becoming a Grand Slam. Because he has the TikTok, he has the uh, PXT, he just needs the YouTube, the Hardcore, and now the United States and Tag Team. That's all he needs to become Grand Slam, but it'll be one step closer for him. And uh, Justin, this is coming straight off the bat! Justin has been in this for a long time. Electro, comparing to Justin is a damn green fire. But the difference is, Electro has won gold here at PXC. He has fucking stepped up to the plate where Justin has taken way too long to come up. Oh, oh, this is the moonsault. Oh, I think, I don't know what Electro was going for there, but Justin catches him in a big splash into the corner and Electro's now down. Justin going for the pin, looking to put him down one, only gets a one count. And now comes in, oh, missing it twice. Oh, was trying to go for more, Justin, though, not holding anything back. Oh, set him up, but Electro, oh, coming in with an inverted DDT. And Justin, not holding anything back out, looking to come in with a fucking, stealing the win there. Oh, it's a good, it's actually a good back and forth between both guys. But Electro, <laughs> fucking knows something that drop kicking out, gets Justin with a big suplex. Oh, looks like Electro's already ready to go here. Oh, big maneuver right there from Electro to Justin. Oh, what's Electro going for here? Electro getting Justin into the corner. Oh, it looks like he's working on the arm of Justin. Justin, though, looking to get out of the corner. Electro now holding it in the back. Oh, good brain buster right there. Oh, Electro going to the top. Okay, what's Electro going for here? Electro going in for a big elbow straight to the chest of Justin. Goes with a pin. One. Now I want to point out Justin was in WWE, is a former WWE champion. Electro is a former world heavyweight champion. Never actually won. The WWE gets... The Lightning Talon! I think Justin was up, what the fuck? One, two, no, Justin kicks out of the Lightning Talon. I think, I think Justin was, I think the adrenaline was kicking in there. Oh, misses the disaster kick. Oh, but Electro not giving up, neither is Justin. Sends Justin to the ropes. Oh, he's trying to set up sign. Justin though, not gonna allow it. Justin gets Electro up, drops him over our top rope. Electro immediately gets up, but Electro now coming in with a series of shots. Justin coming back. Oh, big shot right there. What's Justin going to go for here? Oh, big maneuver from Justin. Oh, big short elbow right there. Electro's up. Oh, code breaker. Big code breaker from Justin. Now trying to get Electro into the corner. What's Justin going for here? Justin looking to go for... Oh, shit! Big Canadian Destroyer! One, two! Now Electro kicks out. And now Electro rolling out of the ring. I gotta get props. Justin has been showing hella promise. Oh, the past couple of weeks with PXC. Yes, he did not get into the Bond match, but goddamn, he's been giving us a fucking show lately. All right now, Justin. Oh, big backstabber right there. Can Justin put down a former Triple Crown champion? Oh, missed the light jab. Justin now looking to send Electro back in the ring. Oh, it looks like Electro got a little messed up there. I'm not sure what happened. Another, oh, Justin is really causing himself with those moonsaults. And now Electro coming in with a series of shots. 
Oh, an Electro! Oh, shit! Get out, Pile Driver. Honestly, not a bad call from an Electro. And now comes in with, oh, misses the electric talent! And Justin gets up with a small super kick! Not done! Oh, Justin, though! I don't know, Justin was probably looking to set up. Side big, but gets caught on lightning talent! Is there enough to put Justin out? One! Two! No! Justin refuses! And Electro is furious! Oh, big shot to the knee. Electro taunting away, Justin. Then, oh, gets him with a knee shot, Justin. Coming in with his own. Oh, beautiful fucking Eric Carana from the springboard. Oh, gets him with a fucking elbow to the chest. I actually don't know who got the better advantage in this. Oh. Oh. Justin coming with a shotgun! Comes with a shotgun. Are we gonna see Justin possibly put down Electro? Comes in with a frog splash! Is that it? One, two, three! Justin has put down Electro! And Justin is in the hardcore match. For the PXC Hardcore Championship. Well, the Hardcore Annihilation match, sorry. Damn. Never break, always fight. A man fall away to the top is now game. falling more and more and more. No Holy shit. Congrats to Justin though. Big fucking win. First being Michael Slade now gets a big win off Electro. Holy shit, dude. That is fucking nuts. Now we have not talked about the main event a lot tonight, but um it is a big one. So, Drew Jeffrey has invoked his rematch clause for the PXC World Tag Team Championship. Well, him and CJ. But now, here's the thing. They did not take into the factor that the Syndicate were going to win. So, with that said, uh, the Syndicate is going to be on all out there. Everybody at ringside. Everybody is. So, uh, yeah, this might look very bad for the Jeffries at this point. I mean that because... Uh, Oh, if you look at it. Yeah, this is going to be. Who knows? We've seen some crazy shit. Maybe some way, somehow. There's Drew Jeffrey. CJ Jeffrey. Logan McCombe, two-time PXC Tag Team Champions. Hey, now, I also want to point out, my commentary was very wrong on um, Bond, where I said we were seeing the first ever two-time Tag Team Champions. I was hella wrong, because the Wolfpack were the first ever two-time Tag Team Champions. Oh, well, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we could be seeing, I believe, the third team to do it. Second team to do it. Third, second, I forgot. Third. That, I'm actually not sure. Right now, it looks like. The whole syndicate. Out right now. Why aren't they wearing the tag team gold? Okay. Uh, hey, uh, what's your names? Another bug! No. No, even Satoshi and Mason don't even have them. Is something going on here? How come they don't have their gold? God damn, a lot of boobs, holy shit. The Kid and Cassidy, the inaugural tag team champions. Oh, not inaugural, what the fuck? No. <laughs> they are the first ever uh, tag team bond winners. Whereas, 
Adrian Cave and C. Jill are the first ever uh, solo <laughs> Bond winners. There was a lot of Bond matches, that is true. Right now. That's what it's for. For some reason they didn't wear it, but they magically had it. <laughs> they had it up their asses. Introducing first, everybody, you know them. They're sexy as hell. Well, apparently, guys should not be saying that because one of them is an extra child, but their character is, he is the Dashing Dragon. His brother, something. They are the Jeffries. And their opponents there, okay, they don't even want no introductions. The Syndicates. God damn, they just, they just fucking ignored theirs. What the hell? I'm getting my titles back. I don't know, Drew. It's a big fucking, it's a big fucking mountain to climb at this point. Cause you got both, you got the whole syndicate at ringside. Here it is, CJ and the kid starting it off. Oh, the kid getting that exchange. I'm watching the school right now. <laughs> no, focus in your classes. You can watch it later. <laughs> I swear I just did this so I could go take my mom out for dinner as a late Mother's Day thing. Also to wash clothes, because I need to wash clothes. <laughs> oh, CJ. I don't know what CJ was going for there. DJ might be a little thrown off because, like I said, the whole syndicate out and about right now. I gotta watch somehow. Fine, I get it. <laughs> I did the same thing at work with Royal Rumble. I get it. <laughs> I was like, I gotta watch it one way or another. Luckily, I somehow made it to where I didn't get spoiled about the Royal Rumble, and I'm so glad about it. All I knew was that CM Punk and... Um, Cody were the finals, but I didn't know who won it because the replays didn't say who the winners were and I was like, okay, good, good, good. Ooh, big shot straight to the face. But now, oh God, big back elbow. Oh shit, God damn. That was a weird catch, but right now the kid, the kid right now is soloing both CJ and Drew. Drew looking to put his attention on the big man. Oh, I think the kid, kid missed Judge there, but the kid not missing a step gets Drew with a big loader over DDT. Yeah, I know right now the kid really like this is his first gold and is his first title defense. Not gonna let it slide so easily. And now tags in Bill Cassidy. The kid standing at guard. Kid finally going out. Oh my god, I just saw Cassidy jump over Drew. That would scare the shit out of me. Oh, Drew going in for Oh, big springboard drop kick to Cassidy. Drops him down. Now tags in CJ. CJ. Coming in. Honestly, I think right now the Jeffries are a little intimidated that... The Syndicate might come up with some shit to do against them. Oh. Oh shit. Cassidy rolls out. Big gut shot now. Ooh, ooh. Huge ass shot right there, but doesn't drop Cassidy. Cassidy's still up. Cassidy's still going. Still want to point out, for some reason, Cassidy really looks like William Defoe. I don't know why. Is it just me? Does no one know who William Defoe is? William Defoe's a Green Goblin from the movies. For some reason, his face looks like William Defoe. And I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Drew Jeffrey. Drew just fucking threw his entire body at Cassidy. Cassidy fucking did pay no mind. Uh oh. Big elbow shots right there. Big shot there. Drew finally being able to drop Cassidy. Dripping the man, of course. Drew looking to go for a pin. One. Doesn't get it. Now tags in. 
Mr. CJ. Oh, Drew was trying to get an, an equal advantage here. Oh, for Cassidy. Cassidy oh, dropping Drew. Drew's down. Drew's out. Oh, and Mason talking shit. And no! Mason distracting CJ for the benefit of the syndicate. And now Cassidy laying waste. Oh, God. Big maneuver there. Cassidy throwing CJ to the ropes and gets it with a big boot. Now the CJ will just damage the ankle. A, a, honestly, an image we thought we'd never see. We never thought we'd see the kid with the syndicate. We never thought we'd see Mason with the syndicate. Oh, 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 dude. I was about to say CJ fucking dodging left and right, but gets caught with a big clothesline, but still coming out fighting. CJ, oh, he has two titles in his name right now. Tag team champ and former TikTok champ. Andrew looking to do some damage onto the knee of Cassidy. Cassidy, though, refusing to give up. That's a gut shot. Oh, big punch right there. I think Julius tries to set up something. Doesn't get it, Cassidy. As the eyeing sign, Drew looking at this, trying to wear the man down as fast as possible. Cassidy's a big man. I want to point out Cassidy, the longest member of everyone in the syndicate right now. Oh, Cassidy tags in the kid. Oh, CJ catching the kid with a big flying clothesline. Ooh. Kid though, not gonna have it. The kid's not gonna take it. He gets it with a big, god damn, elbow shot, shit. Uh oh, ooh, big neck breaker. Oh shit. They're getting caught off there. And right now CJ's taking advantage of the mishap and now attacking the gut of the kid. The kid though, again, still not gonna allow it. Ooh. The kid was recruited as the replacement for Lawler in the syndicate. And so far, goddamn, it was a good fucking, good fucking deal for the kid. I mean, now tag team champions. Oh shit! Cassidy now holding back. Now Cassidy going for the pin on CJ. One, two. Drew not coming in to save it. I'm assuming because he trusted CJ would kick out. Oh god! Big clothesline from CJ. CJ coming back at it, and now oh, drops the skull of Cassidy with his knee as well. Oh, oh my god! Did I just see? Oh my god! What the fuck? I just saw CJ lift a fucking 300 pounder deadlift, by the way! Oh, I think CJ looking! To put out Cap. No! Cassidy says you pick me up once, you're not doing it again! Oh! Drops Drew. Cassidy was looking to get back in it. Bill still saying no! Oh! Oh, God! He's sagging there. Uh, I don't know what Drew, Drew, I think Drew was getting intimidated there. I, I don't know what was going on. I'm not, I'm generally not sure what happened. Man, dude, CJ is fucking, oh, vicious right now, dude. CJ's a late gamer. Drew coming back at it too. Man, it looks like. Oh, Mason's talking the shit now! Oh, big fucking uh, bulldog? <laughs> A jump over bulldog? I don't know what to call that. Holy shit. Can't be explosive as ever. Oh, it hits. Oh, the double barrel. Is that another put? Drew out of commission. One, two, no. I think C CJ got scared there for a second. TJ got scared there for a second, but the kid, what are you going for? Oh, a 
Rollins trying to go for the Cosmic Splash. Who's the flying comma, you asshole? I don't, oh, 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 the kid getting out of that. Oh, shit. Cassidy's in. Oh, Cassidy's going to go for here. Oh, oh, no. Drew, we're about to see a man die. We're about to see a man die. Oh, Able to tag in CJ. Oh, Bill missing the clothesline. CJ coming back at it. CJ thinking he got the pin. One, two. It's Satoshi attacking them from the behind. It looks like they're not happy about it. Oh, oh, looks like they're setting up. They're holding Drew arm to arm. And Mason coming in with a heel spearhead. The drop, Drew Jeffrey. Oh, CJ's trying to fight back. Trying to fight back. But the miss to the face from Satoshi. And oh, God damn it. Another hero spearhead to drop CJ. God fucking damn it. Get my face cam. No, generally, what, what happened to my face cam? Hello? What happened to my face cam? Mason! 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 <laughs> yeah! That's right! You thought I left, didn't you? Yeah, no, I'm not done. So! I'm here to uh, answer your little call of uh, me never... Challenging you for the world title. Never gonna happen. Because the way I see it, what this thing says is that I am in control when I want your title. It doesn't say you get any damn word of it. So I decide when I fight you for the PXC World Championship. As far as we saw, we saw what happened with the Jeffries. They kicked y'all's asses. Nothing I said. That is embarrassing is that you decided to trust the syndicate of all people. Funny thing is, you need a faction to think that you can keep your gold. As far as it's shown, Satoshi's nothing more than a bold-faced liar. Yeah, he promised gold, but let's be honest here. How long have either of y'all kept the gold? The only successful person in there right now is Dixon! <laughs> well, me. What people don't know, I am a former PXC champion. I'm a former PXC tag team champion. And I'm a former PXC world heavy weight champion. Yeah, because there used to be two titles there, but Mr. Dixon, you didn't know that. Nobody knows anything about who me or my brothers are. So Mason, I'll see you at Annihilation. And then, I'll see you at Hellfire for that world title. Because the way I see it, though you may have your little shit goons, you have no control in the matter of that title, baby. <laughs> that belongs to me, Adonis. <laughs> oh, Cyclone, by the way, you might want to do your outro. Never. Because the way I see it, I own PXC now. <laughs> <laughs>